Hello Cancer, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're doing your weekly reading. So this will be for April 8th through the 14th. I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread. I'm going to ask whatever your situation is, what do you need to know that is going this week? How things are going to unfold? What's challenging you? What's coming in towards you? And so on. So keep in mind these are pretty general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. What is the situation? What they should be aware of? What they're dealing with for 8th through the 14th of April. One more and then we'll cut. Alright, let's see. The Eight of Pentacles. This may be self-improvement work. It might be that, again, there's something here that you're trying to study. This is the effort. This is the skill card. But in this particular one, someone is like very attentive to find something out. It needs time, needs diligence, paying attention, putting a lot of efforts. The Seven of Wands. Mars and Leo, by the way. I, I am getting with us that someone is trying to improve uh, themselves, especially the seven of ones that needs to stand their ground here and defend themselves. We'll see. Okay, it's between, it feels like it's between this very uh, offensive or a kind of rivalry, like someone has to prove a point and stand strong. And then there's this, this other self-focus, more attention uh, type of situation because the temperance is coming as wanting to balance or moderation here. So let's see the death card. So for some of you, you're dealing with something that needs to change or end completely, transformation. We're going to clarify all of this. So what is challenging this? Wow, the Knight of Wands came reversed. It feels like this is the movement, uh, quick, swift, um, passionate approach. Feels like something here is blocking you, especially something that has to do with your passion and something that you want to, to take charge. I don't do reversals, but I will read that as a reversal and we're going to clarify. The King of Swords is at the root of this. Now, this King of Swords, I can see that it's trying to stay calm and detached or in the situation objective regarding... What is this? An ending and moving forward. It can be some of you dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. You don't have to, but it feels at the root of this, someone is trying to stay calm and kind of be smart here, fair. The Page of Swords. I, I feel like there's um, Gemini had this, by the way, energy. For some of you, or you have been waiting for uh, some type of news. There's a difference here between the Page of Swords and King of Swords because this is youthful. This is the beginning. So, I, Or someone had to mature. You've been waiting here for some type of news and you're feeling like I need to make that decision now. What needs to finish? What needs to end? All right, the Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles, man, came for a, uh, a few signs. Uh, the reading that I did for you guys... The solar eclipse, it was so much about marriage, commitment. This is what you're thinking has to happen or whatever this has to completion. In a way, I feel like the Ten of Pentacles, remember I said someone was working and putting effort and studying and self-improvement. You feel like you have or to have enough money or to have here like uh, something that finally is like a backup when it comes to establishment, family, commitment, marriage. It's like almost there. We will see again. I don't know yet where this is going. I know that you feel like something needs to change and end. And it might be because of this person. Some of you feel like I need to save money. I need to have all this, uh, you know, finish something here that has to do with property, work. Oh, my goodness. It It's, it's the ongoing thing. Aries, I feel like I had the same thing. The Seven of Swords tells me that whatever these movements, and for the ones that have been following me sometime, you know that um, when I do the weekly readings, there's a lot of the same energy that is coming in with uh, the previous week or when it comes to the monthly. I feel like 
it's like the the story continues here as I do the weeklies but this seven of swords has become lately my exit card like how can someone move forward what is the plan it does not want to open up completely here so or there's some fear of deception or whatever is this movement has to be in the dark here or and someone is kind of concerned but it's it's not completely the ending here with this seven of swords it's just a challenge and how someone will proceed but there's a mask here there's a hidden aspect yeah the three of swords you reminded me a little bit of i believe aries reading you're torn cancer you're really torn some of you heartbroken especially if you feel like someone here is um, not being clear in the direction or where they want to go Okay, so what does the universe wants you to know? Whatever is this seven of swords, and we're going to clarify, it's saying be careful because someone will find themselves after that like still tied. Like it's like whatever is this movement, there's something else here that someone is blocked, cannot get out of a situation, feels trapped, fearful. The king of pentacles is in the hope and, uh, hopes and fears. Now, for some of you, this can be a person that you want to be, that is stable, that is committed, that has, you know, when it comes, is reliable, trustworthy, a provider here, um, practical. Some of you, this may be you, and you're hoping that you're going to be well off and stable here in whatever is this ending. Because again, the, the knight of wands is such a hot and cold energy, or it's just impulsive. It does not guarantee necessarily here if you're looking at commitment or, or wealth. It's not the most consistent one. But it's passionate, is movement, is action. Okay, so if you are concerned about your financial stability here, yeah, you're, you'll recover and you have been thinking of this. You've been thinking of a heartbreak and the recovery and the waiting type of situation. But if you have been concerned about this money or establishment <clears throat> financial gains or what will end um what will happen once you end this situation the nine of pentacles is someone that is well off individually you you are hoping for the ten of pentacles is saying this is still when someone it is my card also of non-commitment but most than anything is just that someone is focusing on on their own needs and wants but for others here, you're looking at whatever it is that you want to move forward, what will fulfill you physically as well. And, and I'm getting it has to do regarding some separation or something that you feel torn regarding um, commitment here, regarding family. But it's saying this will result in someone just focusing on themselves improvement is here from the eight of pentacles that we had now we have the nine of pentacles there is a completion on, on someone's individual um, status here it's venus in virgo for this for those that want to know there is the focus mainly here on one person and their well-being uh, if it is going to be a person you are attracted to this is right now where you both get to know each other. It's not the next step with the Ten of Pentacles. But let's see, what is this death card? You see? There's a new like there's some struggle here regarding something that is not finished yet. There's the new beginning, a leap of faith, but there's a lot of tension and struggle here back and forth the death card says you have to that's that forced energy you you have to kind of deal with this ending or you need to change perspective uh, something here has to finish so what is this knight of wands i'm gonna look in this what is this knight of wands You see the hang, I keep getting, it's juggling, something is being juggled. There is a hope here, something you want to go, to. It keeps going back and forth. All right, so it is uh, about a person as well. Someone wants to open up and confess. There's that love offer here. I, I, I said it in the previous reading I did for you guys, even with Mars, that Mars is training you, so it's giving you this potential to, to go after, to assert yourself, to go after what you want. But it feels like someone here, this King of Cups, 
is, is going through a lot emotionally, wants to confess, wants to open up. But at the same time, it's just how, what is the movement? Um, it feels like an ongoing saga here regarding your situation that, I don't know if it's a never ending. Or someone feels like they have this passion, but they cannot act on it. Yeah, the king of swords is mentally burdened, he's trying to stay here. Cool, detached, what is this? Hmm. For some of you, it's someone you know, reaching out to a person you know, but also it's like, that's why you want the Ten of Pentacles, because you want to go towards something that has growth and potential, longevity, there's uh, even to talk to someone. If for some of you already are in a marriage with um, or in, in a serious committed relationship, you feel like you have to have certain assets or certain wealth here or certain establishment in order for both of you to kind of grow because someone feels very exhausted like mentally here or I cannot carry this any longer like how is this going to um to happen what do we need to know look at it's like pregnant type of energy here so something is developing but needs time Needs time, needs efforts, needs money when it comes to this situation, needs promises of longevity. It's been this impulsive and this freedom, I feel like, at the same time and excitement for something new, but also something holds you that feels like, hey, pay attention. It's like the Saturnian energy. It's like there's restriction and blockages and limitation because of what are your goals here when it comes to family and marriage and what do you need to, to accomplish. <clears throat> what is the page of source, please? All right, so there's a fear. Page of source. They're still here, and it might have been that for some of you, there's been a few words that have been painful, immaturity here, something came out as delays. But also, this is like some information that you or this person have been wanting for some time here. A lot of obstacles, a lot of abandonment, a lot of victim type of energy or being left out or someone feeling like I need help and was waiting for some type of news. It may be disagreement when it comes to these obstacles and challenges that someone is like feeling here like where were you? Look at it. It's like someone is leaving and the other person is like emotionally feeling sad. In a way, there's never been a farewell here, but even for some of you that there's something that needs to close and or end, it's, it's, it seems like it's not sincere yet with this Seven of Swords. So what is... Uh, I'm going to look here. There's this determination to achieve uh, this goal. What is the Ten of Pentacles, please? The Six of Cups. You have... Uh, for some of you, yeah. There may be memories with a person that you know. You want a reconciliation here. <clears throat> Someone is planning to reconcile or wanting to be with uh, this person. That There's a lot of memories um, and fondness. But first feel like I need to have this family or I need to have everything. It does not have to be a family. Whatever is important to you, tangible, that you have worked. It's like, I need to wrap that up. But for some of you are thinking of a person that you have strong feelings. So there's going to be movement, but someone is not seeing this move. It's like in the dark. What is the seven of swords, please? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. I keep getting someone is preparing here or holding on to their assets. And sometimes this can be like the thief in the night or someone here that has another agenda. But again, especially this is just, to me, it's like someone that is accumulating health or is holding here, is not opening up completely when it comes to making the move, but has been planning here. There's There's been a plan for some time. And again, as I mentioned, because we have the Nine of Pentacles, is about someone being financially well what is the three of swords please yep 
you seem uh, heartbroken here about this situation because the six of pentacles is coming as something that you feel like has to be shared or has to be some reciprocated. I don't know if there's someone that feels greedy. Uh, at the same time, I feel like I want this to exchange. Look at um, the devil here. It is coming with someone enjoying themselves, but what's the price to pay? What is this exchange? There's a lot of disappointment. I want to leave things behind. I want to go towards my wish fulfillment, something that I feel like, you know, it's it's a nice balance, harmonious energy. But at the same time, something feels forbidden or entrapment here and codependency. It, it feels like there's a fear that this is not going to be even or someone here is going to gain more as well or is manipulation kind of energy. Uh, what is the Eight of Swords, please? One more. Yeah, blocked. Mentally blocked and with the moon is because there's still uncertainty. I keep getting there's a mask, there's a hidden, there's some deception or someone here cannot open up right now. Yeah, there's feelings. Definitely someone wants to express feelings and feels blocked. Yeah. Ace of Swords. So external to you, that's what you need to know. Or... I feel like someone wants to come towards you with romantic feelings, open up, apology, a reconnection for some of you. But yeah, I feel like someone has a lot of feelings, but expressing those feelings is very, very hard. And for some of you, you want to, to trust this feeling, but because of your circumstances, you feel blocked. External situations. All right, so what is this King of Pentacles, please? One more. The King of Swords. The, yeah, okay. Or there's some type of rivalry here or someone feels like they need to have the upper hand because it's coming as battle of egos. It's coming as someone here that also has to maintain certain status and composure. The five of swords to me is provocation. It's also some of the things that they're more clever or they're, they're going to cause some type of, um, I feel like conflict. The six of wands is proud, is receiving this attention or recognition without playing mind games. And that's why for some of you feeling, oh, as long as I'm stable, I'm going to be fine here, as long as I have the money. Or if you're dealing with another person, there, there is here a little bit of a conflict regarding if this is going to be um, something that has to do with defeat, who has the advantage. There's a little bit of jealousy as well or insecurity with someone here. So what is um, the Nine of Pentacles, please? One more. Okay, I don't feel like the cards. You see the Seven of Wands, there's the Crossroads and the Knight of Swords. Look, I, I feel like someone is, whatever is this movement, the person with the Nine of Pentacles is not going to risk anything here when it comes to the, this next step. Someone is really trying to protect their assets, their well-being, their efforts. Or in this situation, um, remember I said the Seven of Swords, someone is like they're maintaining a certain you know, when it comes to money or plan, it feels like you're going to be fine as, as long as you or this person, again, there's some strong boundaries here that is coming in. So I, I feel like you're going to be well off, but without kind of compromising a, a situation, is there's really, someone is protecting themselves here and their gains. And again, I keep repeating the well-being, the financial situation, um, if we're looking at Venus in, in Virgo here is um, a kind of a very careful who they let in, discriminating kind of energy. Like I'm not going to let someone in here, especially if there's hot and cold, if there's um, a situation that someone is, is like kind of playing mind games. That's what I feel like the composure, that the person here is not going to accept anything less. I've said it before with the Nine of Pentacles is to me, what can you add? Because I have achieved certain uh, lifestyle here or well-being or I work very hard to maintain where I am. So it can be freedom. Someone is like, I, I just need to be free and to kind of um, be on my own here, protect my peace and my wealth. If someone is going to come in, it feels like 
it has to deserve this nine of pentacles energy it can be promotions for some of you if you have felt like backstabbed by other people what is the four of swords one more the strength card yeah a, a peace of mind and your independence here and well-being surrounded by wealth and luxury yes you are maintaining the this ten of pentacles but i feel to me this is just someone that is waiting who is going to come in here how they're going to proceed what they're going to to stand are they ready to fight here it kind of that's what i feel like the seven of wands to be able to achieve um the nine of pentacles the well-being and gains and earnings financial freedom and physical satisfaction i truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye-bye